The Israeli military released this video from the very first day of the conflict, showing Israeli troops recapturing a post taken over by Hamas. It gives a glimpse of what may be to come. It's heart-stopping video of a raid by Israeli special forces on a military post overrun by terrorists. Helmet cam video shows members of Israel's Navy SEALs recapturing a base on the Gaza border. The raid took place just hours after the attack by Hamas on Saturday, but details are just emerging. Israeli authorities claim 250 hostages were released and 60 terrorists killed. The video gives a glimpse of the intense close quarter battles likely when the Israeli Defense Force enters Gaza. Cameron Hamilton is a former U.S. Navy SEAL. It's an incredibly challenging assignment to undertake something like this in such a densely populated region. We know that likely the Hamas militants will move from different location to different locations. To move around, the terrorists will use the so-called Gaza Metro, the honeycomb of narrow tunnels beneath the city. That's also where some of the hostages are believed to be held. Advanced Israeli undercover units are reported to be in Gaza already searching for the hostages. A blizzard of leaflets filled the skies over Gaza today as the Israelis warned residents to move south, out of the path of invading troops. An exodus of biblical proportions is underway, with hundreds of thousands traveling however they can, on carts pulled by donkeys, on foot and packed into cars. Hamas continues to launch rockets into Israel. I spoke with Fox News reporter Mike Tobin. Just about every night around this time, the rockets start coming out. And uh, one of the things I guess I could show you here, crude in the background, that's one of the uh, one of the boxes that we'll go to. It's simply a concrete box behind me there. And if the rockets come out, uh, you're going to see all the soldiers and us pile in there as fast as we can. Before the tanks roll, Israeli troops will tour the grim aftermath of the massacre at the music festival for extra motivation. They're going to pass through here. They're going to see the massacre. They will know what they're fighting for. I spoke with News Nation's Chris Cuomo. What do you think we will see go down in the next 24 to 48 hours? Bad things. I think that uh, as soon as Israel decides uh, to roll uh, hard into Gaza, there's going to be a lot of suffering because Hamas uh, uses the Palestinians to protect them and to hide. And they knew this was going to happen when they decided to commit the atrocities that they did. And look at this. As Israeli tanks move into position for the invasion, All right. CNN's Aaron Burnett is engulfed in a cloud of desert dust. Here.